Manly's a really great family suburb. Obviously, we are beachfront, but also it has a really nice village feel. This property had been really neglected for decades. It uh, needed to be completely reconfigured to take advantage of the ocean glimpses and the northeastern aspect uh, that wasn't being used to its advantage. Uh, part of the brief was to completely reconfigure the home, but respecting the few heritage details that it still remained. There were really beautiful, original, highly detailed cornices in the front rooms, and also a beautiful grand archway in the hallway. Um, these details really inspired me, and once I saw them, I knew that I could really transform this apartment to really speak to that grandeur and do it justice. Not a single room has retained its original use when we purchased this apartment. Uh, the front two rooms, which were originally bedrooms, have now become a kitchen and an open plan living room. We live our lives in the kitchen and living room like many families, so we really gave some generous floor space to those places and also made sure they were sat in the best position in the home so that we can really enjoy that light all day long. In the back of the unit, I've positioned most of the bedrooms and a second bathroom, taking the apartment from a two bed, one bath to a three bedroom, two bathroom with a separate laundry out the back. Being American, I feel that I do bring a different perspective to the projects I work on, in particular this being my own home. In our entryway, we replace some of the flooring with marble tiles to give you a real Brooklyn vestibule feel. The wainscoting throughout the hallway, again, nods to a bit more of a decorated feel while still being quite minimal in color. I've done very dramatic wallpaper to really give a sense of arrival for our guests when they come into our home and also to really transport you to a different time and place when you're in here. Our second bathroom is another place where I used wallpaper to give a little bit of a dramatic entrance to a little, very small jewel box of a bathroom. This being my own home, it was a real opportunity to experiment. And one of those opportunities was painting our bedroom all black um, from the walls, the trims, and the ceiling. Materiality is always front of mind for me. There's a lot of marble as there is in most of my projects and I love to use really natural materials that will patina with age. We ripped up all the existing carpets and restored the original carry pine floorboards. I used custom joinery throughout in a walnut colored veneer that I think really brought out a point of difference in this space. In the ensuite, we used handmade Moroccan zilege tiles, which give a beautiful texture to that shower space. In the laundry space, we used a cobblestone on the floors, which again is quite an American uh, aesthetic. It creates more of a mudroom space so that sandy towels and dirty boots can go in from the back. I always say lighting is the jewelry of our home, so it's really important to get those elements right. Almost all the light fittings in this project have been imported from America uh, using Visual Comfort Apparatus Studio and a couple other makers that create beautifully bespoke lighting pieces. When I look back on this renovation, I really find that's almost a journey through my history. This apartment is now a real place of joy for my husband and I, our 16-month-old daughter, and Miller the Italian Greyhound. Um, I find that it's really serene. It's a nice place to come to at the end of a, of a long day, and it's very quiet up here. It's really just the ocean waves and the beautiful sun.